Hi and welcome back to Rise of the Rovers and this season was a massive rise. Europa League winners of all things. Yeah, a lot of people discredit that trophy but it's a trophy in the cabinet. And if you want to see more trophies, oh, please I hope so. Let's get liking, let's get subscribing and let's get notified of future uploads. And get some comments in down below. How do you think we did this season? Let's go and have a look at our season review and our transfers for the coming season. Yes, I, I feel, feel there's a bit of a rise of something going on here at the moment. We do seem to be pulling up trees a little bit, I would say. And winning that Europa League, a massive, massive achievement. Now, for this season, how did we do? Transfers, obviously Chris Mepham come in from PSG for 16.75 million. 44 games, a 7.2. Five goals, one assist. That's a plus for me. Thorsby. So actually, that was a B plus. A B minus, sorry. They were pretty happy with that one. Morton Thorsby coming from Sampdoria for 14.5 million. The tireless midfielder. A 7.03, 43 games. Six goals, four assists. Pretty good for our uh, defensive midfielder there. Jao Gomez, star signing, £4.9 million, pounds, a C again, a 7, 8 starts, 11 off the bench. Uh, yeah, maybe because of the value? I don't see what they're content with it, but they weren't, yeah, strange. An A, oh beautiful, Stephen Stephen, our wonder kid. 40 starts, 6 goals, 6 assists. A 6.98. Oliveira, a B minus. They were happy with the low wages. 31.5 million pounds for our wonder kid. A 6.91 for him. Five assists, no goals. Playing at right back, pretty good. Deli Alley, a C. 16 million pounds from Tottenham. Eight goals, three assists, a 6.9. 12 starts, 20 off the bench. Pretty good, pretty happy there again. Tan Longo, five million pounds. Two starts, five off the bench, 6.77. So nothing really major there. Transfers out. Palacios a C. Harry Soto a B. To get the high transfer fee for him. Yeah, six, really? And to remove... Uh, could have got a higher transfer, but remove his salary. Beto, a little bit disappointed to lose him, they're saying. But, you know, these things happen. Fry, you made me sell him. So why they've only got a C there, I don't need. Don't really know. He wanted to sell a go as well. Morita... Carter and a few loanies and whatever. And what did they say about Phil Jones? Thinks he could have got more of a fee. He went on a free transfer, mate. <laughs> right. Results. What a result. An A plus for winning the Europa League. What a game it was. Her for Berlin. Pivotal match on penalties. Well, of course it is. Yeah, we we won that. We won the blooming thing. That was the main objective. They wanted second round knockout, and we stormed it. Premier League, an A minus. Luca with eighteen goals for the season. Hopefully, we can get him to chip in with a few more this season. Would be nice, but. Board expectation top half. We finished fourth. Happy with that. FA Cup. Uh, C plus. 
delighted that we reached the quarterfinals. This is how strange, isn't it? Delighted we made the it there. So where on earth is the... I don't know, what, a B, maybe? Carabao Cup, a C. Pleased we got through to the fourth round. I really do wonder. And moments to remember. Biggest win, 5-0 against Dynamo Kiev. Absolutely stunning game of football. Match to remember. 4-0 victory. Home to Manchester City. Luca with all four goals. Goal of the season. Dave... No, what am I talking about? It's Malinowski. I was going to say Dave Schurz. It's not Dave Schurz. It's Malinowski who scored the goal. Let's have a little look at it. Two minutes the goal was. And here we are. Elliot to Umarov to Steven Malinowski left foot what a strike he can strike a ball can't he my word that was some goal finances uh, no new sponsorship deals merchandise Luca Dave Schurz Malinowski Thorsby Moffy sponsorship was up by £8 million wow Corporate up by eight million pounds as well. Uh, Twenty-three million pounds up on prize money. Pfft, up with the commercial, down on broadcast a little bit. Strange to know where that is. Uh, how we lined up? Junior in goal: Oliveira, Ballard, Mepham, Pickering, Umarov, Thorsby, Stephen, Malinowski, Luca, and Dave Schroes. Pretty much the team I would say that we played with this season. Some high ratings there. Only three players not above a seven. That is stunning. The accolades. Um, We had a manager of the month in April. Thank you very much. Luca, fans player of the year. Young player of the year, James Trafford. Interesting. Gomez signing the season. Malinowski with goal of the season. Luca, 23 goals for the season. Pickering, 16 assists. He really is absolutely super. Most man of the matches, Pickering with 8. Highest average rating, a 7.3 for Junior. And we were debating on who was the best goalkeeper. So one's got Young Player of the Year and one's got the highest average rating. Mental. Ampadu, most pass completion this season with 89 passes in 90 minutes. Pretty good. Luca broke the record for goals in the season with 23 assists. Harry Pickering's broken that record. And same with the man of the matches. Highest transfer fee paid is for Down, £28 million. And that Dale Fry, £56.5 million for transfers out. Competition awards. European Player of the Year. Player of the Season, Harry Pickering. Wow. <laughs> and Dave Schur has got Next Gen. He's in the Next Gen Award. So, well done, Dave. Happy with that. History in the making. 2-0 victory against Villarreal. That was a cracking game. Two goals in extra time. Mental game of football. Luca and Ali. Obviously European Europa League Cup winners. And once Blackburn got rolling in the latter stages of the season, there was no stopping them. Ah, good. Right. Transfers. Now... Destination, first of all. Um, yeah, Japan sounds like a nice place to go. I think we'll go to Japan. So in the actual squad, Ballard, Mepham, Pickering, Stephen. That's pretty good. So he's named his player of the year. Ballard got third as well. That's pretty good. Congratulations to Pickering for that. He's happy with that. 
end the season, all the usual bump. I think, what's the expectations? There was a rumour that we're going to be taken over. There's always something in it, phone calls, you know. Yeah, like I was just saying, there was rumours about a takeover. So, he is looking to sell the club, there we go. This And this season, not any other time, well, he's looking to sell whenever. He wants out and build a new stadium. I think we'll just accept that and just get on with it. Right, now let's skip on a few days and see if we can uh, sign any players. Because looking at the squad, squad depth there, I would say we need another goalkeeper. And we're looking pretty good. Look, if we look through it, Elliot's obviously off. But maybe just a bit of strengthening throughout, just to upgrade the team a little bit. Let's go and see what we can do. So we've only actually gone on a couple of days. And uh, yes, new stadium has been announced. It did say in the plans earlier on about new stadium. And the Jack Walker Stadium... Of course, who else will cost around a hundred and eleven million pounds? Although this will be offset by fourteen million pounds received by selling Ewood, but fourteen million pounds are going to sell the stadium for. Is that it? It's not really much of an offset, is it? The board are delighted to announce the financial project without securing any additional funding or external funding. So it's all going to come from the club. Oh, great. Additional funding for the project has been secured with stadium sponsorship worth 56. So it's still going to cost us about 40 odd million quid. Nightmare. Good, but nightmare. 42,000, our current stadium, is... Where do we see that? Facilities. So we're going up by 11,000 seats. Hopefully it can be expanded even more. We'll wait and see. So here we are. And now it's the transfer window is opened. And we're trying to sign some more players. Trying to get somebody in. Um, yeah, it's sort of speculation. Are we going to make some more signings? Of course we're going to make new signings. We always need to strengthen. Big transfer rumour is Fafana going to Manchester United from Leicester. Interesting, interesting. Um, we have got a few irons in the fire. If we look at the history... Nothing's gone on as yet. Literally, we are... We've normally got something done by June. We've got lots of lots of transfers that have been going for. Problem was we we made three signings, all cancelled because couldn't sign no more overseas players. So we'll have to skip on and see if we can do something else with that. We have skipped on a few weeks and. It's the returnees. Loanees have gone back. Loan happiness. He was happy. Interesting extension. No, Harvey Elliott has left the club. The era of Harvey Elliott is over. We've also got some offers. Oxley Chamberlain. We'll see if we can get a bit more money out of them. We've also received £80 million for TV rights. And Moffy scored. Yes, of course. Dream come true for him. Excellent news. So we will scoot on and make some more. Let's see if anybody wants to buy some of our players. But the great news is £80 million has come in. Bad news is Harvey Elliott has gone. So we return on the 1st of July. Transfers. We are trying to get some players in. But one has gone. Oxley Chamberlain has gone to Wolves for £11.5 million. So a great bit of business there. Just needed to shift him on. He wasn't playing much football for us last season. In fact, let's have a little look. 
last season, 14 games, 13 the season before that. Yeah, he's got a decent rating, but we need to make way for other players. And on the ins, we have got some players that we really, really want to sign. And one of them is N'Golo Kante. <clears throat> this might sound like a strange, weird bit of business, but he is 35 years old now. He's still got all of his attributes. Stamina, 17. Maybe not as quick as he used to be, but he is a world-class midfielder. And he wants to come and play for us. He's interested. We got a contract offer in. It's a lot of money, but you know, for a couple of seasons, we'll see if it's uh, if it's viable, and hopefully, over the next couple of weeks or week, we'll 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 get him in. Many many honours. Look at this. Look at the stuff he's won. So hopefully, Kante will be in among us. Right. So we have actually brought some players in, which. I forgot to say, because it was bolted onto the end of the back of the last season. So we better go through them. First of all, Tom Markham, Irish goalkeeper, six foot four, 32 to 38 million pounds worth now. We signed him for 14 million pounds from Cardiff. Absolutely stunning potential. He is a four and a half star rated potential goalkeeper. So he comes in as easily one of the better goalkeepers. Junior's actually gone up to a three and a half star goalkeeper now. A full star ahead of Trafford. And Markham at 19 years old will be breathing down their necks. We've also got Regulo Hesp. A Dutch fullback can play either side can also play anchor man as well and through the middle at five foot seven i can't see him ever playing central defense but again another player three and a half star potential sorry four and a half star potential one and a half star current ability we have paid a nine million pounds to az altmar for him i would say he's probably going to go out on loan Jonathan Pineda, a wonder kid, signed for £10 million, now rated at 55 to £82 million. The Mexican flyer, he will be right side or striker, can also play left hand side if required. But look at this dribbling, finishing, first touch of 16s, pace. Determination, flair of 19, five star potential, three star current ability, absolute beast. 18 years old, <sighs> no brainer. Jonathan Pineda, Pedro Falcao, 22.5 million pounds from Sporting, a central defender. 46 to 71 million pounds, six foot five, 18 years old, five star potential, two star current ability. But yeah, if he's two star and he's got five star potential and he's got those for his physicals, it's going to be a beast. He's going to be an absolute beast. Pedro Falcao. Ronald Germinianini. Now, I'm going to struggle with that one. We're just going to call him Ronald. Set a nickname of Ronald Germinianini. It's just not worth it. Ronald. <laughs> He's in. 18 to 28 million pounds worth cost us six uh, 7.25 million from flamingo again five star potential two star current ability and just look at him come up on our scouting and stunning 
absolutely stunning. Ronald. Jan Nimi. Jan Nimi comes in. Three and a half star potential. One and a half star current ability. Attacking midfielder. We actually had him as part of a, a deal, which we'll show you in a minute. Part X. And that was for Jaden Bogle. Jaden Bogle has gone to Leicester. We got uh, Nimi in place. And at 25 years old, wasn't playing. What did he play last season? 12 games. Just not enough. And we got a million pounds plus Nimi. Nimi is worth 16 million quid and he's 19 years old. So a good bit of business there. Chamberlain out. Engole Kante. Ho, 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 ho. World class midfielder has signed for us. He's currently away on World Cup duty. I just couldn't turn it down. I just, for the mentoring, you know, that's that's one of the big things for the mentoring side of it. Someone who can play in that central midfield, a world class midfielder, teamwork, work rate. Anticipation, concentration, fitness, stamina, tackling. No brainer. Absolute no brainer. So, we've got a new director of football. And if we just go to him, where's he to? Director of football. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the state of that. I just want to leave him as he is. Our new Dutch, Dennis Lanzat. And he is an absolute beast. He's an upgrade on Taibi. And straight away, he came in and said, there's a free transfer available. A 23-year-old ex-Manchester City player, James McAtee. Free star potential. Two and a half star current ability. I, I looked at him and I thought, look at the rate, look at his stats. He's pretty good. And for a free transfer, 42 grand a week, I thought, yeah, let's have him. So we brought him in. So he, he was actually been out on loan a few times, but we, we've got him. And then. He comes up with another one. Not a free transfer this time. But he says there's a player who's available. And I thought... Now... If he's going to carry on like this... He's going to put me out of a job. Because... This guy's just... is crazy. But the player we've signed... Is Yusuf Makoko. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, this is not the best Yusuf Makoko I have seen on Football Manager. I've seen far better, far better players. But the fact that he's four and a half star potential, three and a half star current ability, he is he's a beast. <clears throat> There's no two ways about it. He is a beast. We know he's a beast. But what we did, he's cost us forty-four million pounds. But he's only cost us ten million this season. We've bought him on the never never. I, how how? Yeah, how they accepted it, they did. If, I don't know if we can actually see the transfer deal. We spread it over like six years or something crazy. We're giving them like two and a half million pounds a year. Or there's some craziness. Every six months, we're giving them two and a half million quid. And to me, to get him for £10 million pounds this season, we didn't have much transfer budget. We knew that. We've spent 49.5. We brought in nearly 16 million quid. We've still got two million pounds left. Oof. 
yeah, you know, I think I think it's sound business. I really do. And hopefully, if we look at our squad, he's he's not even up there. Look, Panade is there. Moffy, I guess because they're all three star current at the moment. Luca and Schroes, but Schroes can now play in there. And I'm thinking of something along the lines of something like this. Maybe not Markham in goal. Junior, probably. Junior, Oliveira, Ballard, Ampadu, or... I don't know. We've got so many choices. Pickering, Umaroff, Stephen, Kante, Schroes, Mocha Coco... And Luca up top. Now, <laughs> I think that could be our transfers done. But let's go and have a little look. It's the 31st of July. We're nearly there. Let's see if there's any more business we can do. So it's just rolled over to the 1st of July. And it came in with the top goal scorers. And we're not even in it. No one. None of our team have got it. Also, for the new squad numbers, Jose wanted the 10, so I've given it to him. And Pinedo, we give 37. Stokes has moved out somewhere else. I can't remember where, but at the moment, he's not really in the team anyway. Scarlett's got 29 now instead of 10. Markham, 31. You might want to pause to see if anyone there you're interested in seeing. Kante, 15. Uh, Makoko has got 32 Stokes got 34 now so yeah just a few little changes and obviously previously nobody wearing them Falcao's got that number 2 shirt Ampadu Kadenovic or Sasa we're probably going to call him Kadenovic has got uh, the number 5 shirt so We'll see how things carry on this season. Let's carry on a little bit further on ourselves. And we've literally gone on three days. And what is a great thing when they do these predictions? The bookies say that Dave Schroes is the clear favourite to win the award this season. We've also got Stephen and Pineda in there. So that's pretty good. We've also got... Um, going to get another £1.2 million because we're going to play Liverpool. It's been pushed back for a TV coverage game. So that's good. Transfers out. Let's just go through them a second. So what we've done, loans. Uh, Boosie's gone for 2.6. That's another one who's gone out. Chambers, Jones, a couple of youngsters there gone. Another youngster, but Hesp, Almond, and Forrest have all gone on season long loan to Coventry. We've now got an association with Coventry who are Skybet League One. So we did hope to try and get a championship team, but we've got Skybet League One. Great facilities, great training. So hopefully they'll do a nice, uh, a nice turn for us over there. So here we are on the 12th of August. It is the first game of the season, which will be the Super Cup against Liverpool. So that will be our returning game, which we'll come back for. And also for Manchester City, first game of the season. Nice little baptism of fire. We've done very well pre-season. Not lost the game. Played some OK sides. Galatasaray, Stanton Liège. Coventry, obviously, our affiliate, Grampus 8 as well, another one, another one of our affiliates, Venforet and Queen of the South. Lots of goals scored, Mokoko scoring his goals, Mokoko, should I say, keep adding that extra K and O on, the Mokoko, we'll get used to it. But we will be back for that First game of the season, the Super Cup against Liverpool and Manchester City 
in the league. Let's see how we fare in those couple of games. It would be nice to get a couple of victories. I know it's only the Super Cup, but it's the first time we've been in it, so we're going to show it. We'll catch you soon. Please do subscribe, like and get notified and comment down below. How do you think our transfers have gone? Makoko? Looks pretty good to me for £10 million. See you soon.